Hey everybody, I hope y'all doing well today. I'm doing okay. Uh, getting ready to give y'all my review of the mid-season finale of The Walking Dead. Um, let's see. Evolution. I'm sure just the name of the episode probably turned some people off. Of course, most people don't know the name of the episode because they're not paying attention. To that it's only people like me that uh, you know take the time to find out what it is uh, they have way too much shit by the time you get to this part of the season you're like waiting through shit just to get to the show start all the walkers meandering around uh, it's kind of hard to tell the whisperers from those walkers because in the comics the flesh is a lot looser. But uh, if Jesus and Aaron and Daryl, uh, yeah, I mean they are what they are. I really didn't. I didn't hate this episode, but to me it's one of those almost. I mean it. It gets really good at the end. But it's quite anticlimactic for a mid-season finale. And I know, you know, like in years past, before um, before shows like The Walking Dead did, uh, did the, the, you know, half a season, take a break and come back thing, you know, yeah, who would have, really gave a shit if episode 8 or episode 10 in a season, you know, had a big cliffhanger because there will be another episode on the next week. But with this, you know, we're not going to have another episode for at least 10 weeks. So you kind of want something big to go out on. Now, the stuff with uh, Gabriel and uh, Negan, it's okay, but... I watched it twice. I always watch these at least twice before I do a review. And it just no, no. didn't interest me that much. Uh, Michonne and them coming to Hilltop is sort of anticlimactic too. I mean, it's, it's interesting. It's decent exposition. But you still, I would like to know, there's nothing in the comics and there's nothing in this that I there's nothing I know of that's caused this rift between everyone, and it's maybe they will show what what went down because it's very confusing to not know why everybody's kind of at odds with each other. Uh, new people they seem to be doing okay. Uh, I just cannot remember them from the comic. I'm sure if I reread, I mean, of course they will pop back into my mind, but, uh, you know, if, if I reread it, maybe the, it'll click with me. Uh, Carol Michonne, I hate to see those two not getting along, but maybe with the second half, everybody will get back together. Because, I mean, that is the way they normally do with Walking Dead and Fear of the Walking Dead. Everybody starts out together and something happens and then they're apart for one reason or another. And then by the time the season closes, they're back together again on some level. But, um, I didn't think I would have that much to say about this, but this one's probably going to be just as long as all the other of these uh, videos. I'm glad that anybody watches them. I know uh, Melanie's the main one that does. And I thank you for watching. But anybody else that comes upon these, you know, I hope you find something good out of my babbling about the show. Uh, you would think that with at least uh, Eugene, you know, doing stuff to expand the radio range, he would have had a radio. That would have helped them find me. But, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Just watching Negan and, and Gabriel going at it. Which, 
you know, it's mediocre. And then, uh, I cannot think of his name, but the uh, young boy, you know, getting together with him other kids. Uh, you could just tell that it's, that it's kind of Echo and Carl, you know, and they got uh, Alexandria. But you could just tell those kids were going to be trouble. Because, uh, I mean, you're cooped up, of course you're going to be trouble. Uh, Rosita, they must not have wanted to pay uh, Christian Tadros much because she's just mainly sleeping <laughs> most of this episode, which is kind of silly. Do, 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 do. Very eerie in this last third, though, when they find Eugene and the fog set in, and it's it's almost like you'll see uh, like thr the thriller video just break out because it's just so foggy and eerie, and the walkers coming, now Negan escaping. Uh, but Negan escapes in the comics, but it's a little timed a little bit differently, so I don't know what they're going to do with it in this. Because it is, it's not timed exactly the same. It's it's close to it, but it's not exact. Uh, yeah. I don't have much to say about that boy in the blacksmith. I mean, I think there is something sort of similar with Carl in the comic. I can't remember. I mean, there's like a lot of fucking comics, and I follow a lot of things, so it's kind of hard to keep everything in your head. Uh, Daryl realizes everybody's fucked with his firecracker thing not working. And I don't know, the end of it is really good, but really disorienting with all them in the, in the, it looks like, a, uh, aptly enough, uh, cemetery you know fighting the whispers and the walkers and everything else and i will have to say i was not expecting jesus to die uh i did like you know the everybody coming to help save him but uh i just wasn't expecting him to die because you know they do like they do like their gay characters on this show and there's not that many of them and Jesus is still a going concern in the comics. Uh, sometimes when they kill somebody, I just don't understand it. Uh, but, yeah. And then the big reveal that, you know, that wasn't a walker, it was a person. So, you know, that's the whispers. Um, yeah. Uh, I hope that the other half of the season looks pretty good. I hope it is. I like this uh, Whisper storyline in the comics. If you don't read the comics, I think you may enjoy it. Even if you didn't like the Negan one, because it's it's it pays itself off a lot quicker, and it, they're actually very menacing as the baddies. Anyways, that's all I've got today. Um, the next one of these will probably be in February. Because I don't think Fear of the Walking Dead will start until the main show goes off in uh, probably April. So, yeah, this will be the last one of these at least this year, I'm sure. Anyways, I will see you all tomorrow for a YouTube gym. Bye.